Okay, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Sign Engine Mod for the Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, this is the official build that I've got run on in here. And I have the link to that in the description if you're rooted and you want to go check this out for yourself. So, Sign Engine Mod, uh, mod is basically stock Android um, with a few um, adjustments that you can make with it. So you can see I am running over launcher and I'm not using a um, stock one that you get with it. But overall the performance wise it runs buttery smooth, no issues with lag. It's a fully working ROM, everything works on it, the camera works. So you can see the uh, camera interface. Works pretty well. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the settings that, that you get with Synergy Mod. So you go into settings and you got the interface here, you got the launcher settings, you got the lock screen settings, themes system so launcher settings basically takes you straight into your nova um your nova settings uh, let's go back let's jump back into settings again next we've got lock screen settings these are all the things that you could customize with the lock screen so if you did you change the um pin automatic lock ownership info quick unlock and all of these uh settings uh doo -doo. next we've got backgrounds you could change the background wallpaper off the lock screen if you wanted to you can have a custom image or just a plain color or the default wallpaper. We've got the charging status. You can have this um, on. I only have this on when charging. So that's good. So you've got a clock widget. You could actually um, maximize the widgets on your lock screen, button actions, slider, shortcuts, and all that good stuff. So there's a lot of customization that you can do with it. Next, we'll move on to themes. And as you know, you can download different themes off of the uh, Play Store and put them on here. I actually haven't put any themes on here yet, but I think I might put one on here soon to kind of spice this up a bit. But that is an option that you can do if you want to make your phone a bit different from everyone else's phone. Next, we have system. And then here you've got all the main settings. So first, you've got system, uh, status bar. You can change the status bar. If you wanted to add AM and PM at the top, you can if you wanted to. You could change the um, battery status style. So right now, I've got the kind of circle of the... Um, percentage in the middle if you just want the icon you could change it or if you want the percentage you could have the little battery icon with the percentage next to it circle which I had on there before and that one which I've got now um, you can actually change the icon style you could have it just text if you want to this is for the status the um, network status but I prefer the icon because it just looks much neater you got brightness control and you got the um, notification count so if you got notifications from the email you could have the you know, how much email you have so where were we we got the notification draw so you could uh, enter like a power widget in there like right there so you can have the quick shortcuts but you, you already got it when you swipe down to the right you already got these um, shortcuts here so you don't necessarily need it but if you like it you can add that in and you can actually customize that in as well so which is pretty cool and take that for now um, expanded desktop you can um, tick that box and enable it you got the power menu so if you wanted to um, when you hold down the power button you got this menu you can customize that up a bit and if you wanted to add screenshots in there you can easily do that and that should automatically add screenshots right there uh, next we've got the clock widget you could customize that um, you could change the notification LED on this as well so if you wanted like a certain application, so if you so if you got an, um, a Twitter notification, you could actually customize that to a specific color. So let's add in my Twitter application, which is where is it? Show this really quickly, Plume. So if you got a notification from Plume, you could actually customize it up to any color you want. I want it to show pink. You can set that, you can actually test it. You turn off the screen and you will see the little quick dot there. I don't know if you saw that, but it was really quick. Just to show that it is working and what kind of color you would get and you press OK and that's done. So whenever you get a tweet or notification from the application, it will show purple. So I really do like that. If you want to customize it up that way, you can. You could change the hardware keys and yeah. And most of the other settings are generally generally the same. Your super user down here and stuff like that. But yeah, this is Synergy mod, essentially stock Android experience, but for a few tweaks. Um, I'm using one of the um, nightly builds. 
So I'm not using the latest, latest one, but this is very close to the latest one. I think this is like a few days old, but it's more or less stable that you can use as your everyday um, driver, which I do. I've been using this for, um, I've been using the unofficial one for like a few weeks now and that's been perfect. I've been using this one for about a week now, no problems at all. So yeah, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good stable ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4. Definitely recommend you pick this up as well. And yep, that's about it for the video. This is a quick look at CyanogenMod Mod and a few of the features that you get with it. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, do you are you rooted? Are you thinking about flashing CyanogenMod? Mod? Um, leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. And um, also let me know what ROM you want me to take a look at next because I'm gonna be taking a look at some um, different ROMs I could find off at XDA. So yeah, leave that in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Peace.